Hello everyone, my name is Angel and I'm going to be talking about another Nicholas Carr text, Is Google Making Us Stupid? You may all be familiar with this text because it is something we have talked about in class before, but I thought it was important and useful for our discussion today because it focuses on informational search habits. So to jump into it, Carr says that the internet is everywhere, that it is this universal medium that allows for information to flow through people's eyes, ears, and mind. With this, he argues that the internet affects people's brains in properly reading and understanding texts, which ultimately aff uh, affect our thought process in the long run. To explain his argument, Carr talks about Google and informational search habits. He says that Google and its ability to search up things quickly and its use of hyperlinks is harmful to people's thought process. It is harmful because these quick searches and hyperlinks give users the exact information they want and need without them having to do the real analytical and analytical work. It is also harmful because users don't even notice its effects on their thought process because they are so tied up into the immediate results they get back from the internet. But Carr noticed this himself because he saw how much it affected him. For, for example, he says that research that once required days in libraries can now be done in minutes. And he saw that his continued use of this and using the internet to obtain research so fast has chipped away his capacity for concentration and contemplation in longer texts. He noticed that he is no longer thinking for himself. He is only taking in the information the way the internet distributes it and he's just spitting it back out. Some colleagues have said, some of, some of his colleagues have said that I can no longer read text longer than three pages. I have to skim or Google has changed the way I think I am searching for convenience. So as you can see, this relates to our discussion because it shows how these online search habits through search engines like Google shallow our thought process and reading because it, because we immediately take in the information given to us without really questioning it, causing us to slack in doing the proper analytical work ourselves. Ultimately, our thought process is shallow because we are not thinking for ourselves. We just are taking in the information the way the net, the way the net presents it and then just repeating it. So this makes you think how, how many times have you relied on informational search habits and how that has affected your learning experience or thought process itself especially since we were born in an era where the internet and things like Google is just so available to you. But that's just something to think about as, as we continue on and to prepare you for the discussion questions. Thank you.